solve the following equation graphically. So you got this is uh, this is a simultaneous equation. So you got y is equal to x plus y and 3x plus y is equal to 13. So when you graph this, this is, will be a straight line and this will also be a straight line. I'll explain how it's a straight line. And when you're solving graphically, what, what you're going to find is the answer would be the point of intersection of these two graphs. Okay, so let's write the first equation. Y is equal to uh, x plus phi. I'm going to write as phi plus phi plus x has a coefficient of 1. So I'm going to write that 1 as 1 over 1 times x. Now, when you're graphing a straight line, there are two things that you need to find. One is called this number, which is without the x, is called the y-intercept. This is called the y-intercept. Or this is where your graph starts, or this is one of the points of your graph. And this number tells me the gradient. This number tells me the gradient, which is the slope in some books. And the gradient is defined as rise over run. I'll explain that later. So if you want to graph this, it is pretty easy. You start at phi, so one of the point is to draw a line, you need it uh, at least two points. So one of the point is, this is the y-intercept, or this is where your graph cuts the y-axis. So this is your phi on the y-axis. And this number tells me whether you're going, the top number tells me whether you're going up or down, and the bottom number, so let me show you this. The bottom number tells, sorry, the top number, the rise, tells me whether you're going up or down. Okay, if it is positive, if it's a positive number, you go up. And if it's a negative number, you go down. Now, for, for the bottom number, you can have positive. And if it's a positive number, you go to the right. And if it's a negative number, so let me draw it here. If you've got a negative number, you go to the left. So here you got a positive number. So this is plus 1 over plus 1. So from phi, you're going, you'll be, for, to get to the next point, you'll go 1 up and 1 across. So from phi, you go 1 up and 1 across. So this is the next point. Okay? And we'll explain, I'll we'll confirm this later on. To get to the next point, you go 1 up and 1 across. So if you keep going, you'll get all the points which will be on the straight line. So go one up, one across. I'll explain this in a different way. So these points, let us write the coordinates of these points. So this points, this point is 0, comma 5. I want you to look at the pattern. This point is called 1, 1, comma 6. This is 2, comma 7, and so on. Can you see the relation between x and y? So this is called, the second number is your y-coordinate, and the first number is your x-coordinate. And what is your equation telling me? Your y-coordinate or your y-value is 5 more than your x-value. Can you see? 6 is 5 more than 1, 7 is 5 more than 2, 5 is 5 more than 0. This point is 3, 8. So all this point tells me that relationship. This is 4, 9, and so on. I hope you can see the pattern. So if you look at the y value and the x value, your y value is 5 more than the x value. And all these lines are on a straight, all these points are on the, on the same line. So you can draw a line joining these points. Okay. And the equation of this line is y is equal to x plus 5, as simple as that. Okay, let me use a different color. <clears throat> the second equation is, let me, okay, let, let it be there. The second equation is 3x plus y is equal to 13. I want to write this as y and some else. So this can, if we take away 3x from both sides, so if you take away 3x from this side, 
you have to take away 3x from this side. So this and this gets cancelled. You have got y is equal to 13 minus 3x. So this is 30 minus 3x. So I'm going to write the same thing as y is equal to 13 minus 3 over 1x. I'm writing this one with a reason. Okay. Now, as I told you, the top number, top number is negative. The top number, this minus, in fact, can you can understand this minus. So this also can be written as minus, or if you want a plus here, you can do a plus, and you can give that minus here. I hope that is not confusing. Plus, uh, plus and minus gives you this minus. Okay, so this minus tells me that you have to go, I have to start first at 13. So let me use a different color, the red color would do. So this is your y-intercept. This is where you start your graph. So your 13 is here. This is your first point. It's not the first point. This is one of the points, of course. So this is where you start, say, and then you're going three down and one across. This three tells me you have to go three down. This negative number, a negative sign, tells me you have to go three down and one across okay so from here if you go three down one two three and one across so this is the next point so if you go three down one two three down and one across so this is a common point for both the graph so you go three down one two three and one across and so on if you go one more point one two three down and one across and then you can draw a line and let us draw a line there joining these points these points are collinear on the same line and this is the solution so this is the point of intersection for both the lines so what is this point this point is this corresponds to 2 on the x-axis and 7 on the y-axis and that's the solution of the equation. That means when x is 2 and y is 7, it is satisfies both the equation. So if you put 2 here, 2 plus 5 is 7, and 3 times 2 is, I'm putting 2 and 7 into this equation. 3 times 2 is 6, 6 plus 7 is 13. So this is how you find the graphical solution of simultaneous equation.